What I'd like to do now is walk you through the process of completing your assignments in Connect Math. So here we are in our Canvas modules. Let's go to one of those read, watch, practice assignments. We've already seen how to read and take notes in the ebook, so let's jump to the next step, which is to watch and take notes on video tutorials in Connect Math. You'll notice in this one there's an extra watch step because I've inserted a pen cast there. Those are the pen casts that I create, and anytime you see those, what it means is it's a particular topic that I want to really stress the focus on. So you want to make sure that you watch those so you don't miss anything. And then after we watch, we're ready to complete our problem sets in Connect Math. So we have video tutorials for 6.4 and polynomials problem set number three. So clicking on the Connect Math link brings me to the MH campus, which will then bring me into our Connect Math assignments. Make sure you click on the Connect Math button when this opens. And here we are. So I'm looking for the section 6.4 video tutorials right here. This action button is because I am in my instructor account. When you're in your student account, it will just say complete this assignment. But everything else generally looks the same. So what you see here is a video playlist. You can see there's six videos. These are the same videos that you can access through the ebook where you can search a particular topic like I showed you in the last video. But what I've done here is I've gone through and I've already selected the ones important for the topic that you're learning right now. So you don't have to go through and search for them. They're all right here. When you press play, it'll go through the videos one at a time. After you're watching the, done watching the videos, you're ready for the problem set. So let's see what one of those looks like. There's 17 questions. And here's what the first question looks like. And in general, this is what your questions are gonna look like in Connect Math. So you work through these just like you would be working problems out of a regular textbook. Have your sheet of paper out or have your notebook out where you're gonna keep all your work, number your problems. And that way you have a record of all the work you've done. So if you ever have questions, you can go back and quickly find the problem that you needed help on. Now, let's say I work out this problem and I'm gonna get it wrong on purpose. I'm just going to type something in so you can see what happens when I get it wrong. Okay, it tells me I got it wrong, so I have to try again. So let's say I look on my work where I wrote everything down and I notice my tiny mistake and I go ahead and fix it. So let's get it right this time. So it's going to be 8R minus 20. So now I check my answer. And now that I got it right, notice my red X changed to a green check. So I've got my one point for that problem. Okay, let's look at the next one. All right, I'm gonna get this one wrong again. And we're gonna see what happens when I get it wrong. It tells me to try again. All right, let's say I try again. I got it wrong again. Let's try one more time. And after three times, it's gonna stop me. And it's gonna say, you're out of retries, here's your correct answer. If this happens to you, if you've done it three times and you keep getting it wrong, what you need to do is you need to take a step back and do some more practice on that topic. Don't just keep going through the cycle of getting it wrong over and over again. That's frustrating and it takes up a lot of time. So what I would do at this point is I would go back, maybe watch another video. I would go back and read the ebook, go back through the examples, watch any of the pen casts that were there, and then maybe come back to it. So let's say I did that and I came back and I'm ready to try another one. Okay. I also have these help buttons over here. A nice one, a nice button that I like to tell students to use is this one that says show example. So you'll notice this opens up another window. Oops. This opens up another window. And what I can do is I can drag it over and have it next to the problem I'm working on. Now you'll notice it's not the same exact problem, but it's very similar. So you can walk through the steps of this and read through it as you're trying to complete this problem. So that might help you figure out how to get exactly the right answer. So this is going to be 27y cubed. Notice I'm going to need this symbol palette over here. And then it's going to be plus 12y squared and minus 9y. So remember, I got this problem wrong three times in a row. But now, 
I've got it right, so I'm back to my green check. So I should be getting 100% on all my assignments. As long as I start them early enough and I get them completed by the due date and I give myself enough time to work through the ones that I might get wrong at first, I can get 100%. There's also some other help buttons here, the solve it and the guided solution. I encourage you to look at those and see if it's something that might help you. Link to textbook, if you click on this, it's gonna bring you to the page in the textbook where you could find examples such as the one that you're working on. Then there's the Ask My Instructor. That will send me an email where you can type in your question and it will send me a link to the question you're working on. Be as specific as possible. Tell me exactly what it is you're having trouble with so I know how to reply to your email. And make sure that when you use that though, that sends me an email and you do have to wait until I check my email before I can respond to it. So it's not an instantaneous chat. All right, let's try another problem. Okay, so here's my next one. Now you'll notice each time you open up a problem, it gives you a reference to the section and to the problem in the book that this problem right here is similar to. So every time I click on a problem, I see that that reference is there. Now, the reason why that reference is good is because when you go into the ebook, you can go to this section, you can go to the problems, and there might be a little video lecture right there. So if you're really struggling with this particular problem, there's a video that might help you in the ebook. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you go in the ebook, and if you go to the end of a section, Okay, let's say, where were we? We were section 6.4. Now, at the end of the section, so you wanna to go to the very last objective and then keep scrolling till you get to the exercises. Okay, so these are all the exercises. Just again, just like if you had the physical textbook, these would be the problems at the end of the section. Now notice above every set of problems, for instance, all these problems right here, there's a video lecture. Actually, the video lecture is for the problems above. So if I'm looking at these multiplying polynomials problems, all these problems, 27 through 32, are very similar, and there is a video right underneath it to help me with those problems. So if I'm working on a problem in Connect Math, I can look at that reference, go to the problem in the ebook, and see if there's a video there. So if I have a question on any problem that looks like 27 through 32, multiplying a monomial and a trinomial. I can click right here, and there it is. They're gonna walk me through a video that's gonna help me with that type of problem. Multiply the polynomials and sim Okay, so I'll stop that one, but I just want you to know that that's available as another resource.